Hey YouTube, I just made this wonderful and lovely romper which I absolutely love and if you want to learn how to make it too, stay tuned for this tutorial. Hey YouTube, I will be doing a romper today. I'll be sewing a romper and um, this is a favorite romper of mine that I got from H&M. You can't even see the shape, it's like falling apart but I just wanted to give you an idea of the color and it has these ties in the front here you can see it right there it has an elastic in the waist and um it's shorts but it kind of looks like a skirt because it's so bad so i want to remake this again so the easiest way i knew how was to sort of draw out the shape i cut the bottom crotch area of these already you can see it hanging from the bottom um and you'll see it in my other video um, how to make a jumpsuit, how I cut leggings and make it into um, um, something else. So, I drew it on this paper to give you guys a better idea and also to help myself visually. Um, when I cut out the crotch and turn the pants or these shorts sideways, this is what you're going to have that longer portion right there and that shorter portion right there. So when you finish doing that, you're gonna sew up from that longer portion up to the top and you're gonna short, sew up from that other side, the crotch, up to the top. And then you'll fold it out flat and you'll see that that's gonna be your um, jumpsuit. Well, I'm making a romper, so it's just like a jumpsuit but shorter. I'll show you the fabric that I'm using here. My fabric right now is inside out, but this is the print. If you can see it right there, that's like a leopard. Let me zoom in. You can see it. That's a leopard print right there. So it's similar to the color in this one that I was going to use. So let's get started. Well, actually, I'm going to pin from the crotch area all the way up to the waist. And then I'll take it out the flat way so you can see how it looks. Okay, YouTube, I wanted to show you really quickly. What I did was I sewed down the sides, as you can see here. And this is the longer part, so you know that that's the back side. You're going to take it after you sew it. See, the last video you, you saw me pin it down, so I sewed it down. Now you take it out the right way, the, um, the flat way. You see that? And it's looking like a bottom already. You're going to have that bottom part open. So what you're going to do is you're going to match up the two crotch seams like this. You see? This is one side, and this is another. And you're just gonna see the seams right there. I don't know if you can. You can pin it together, take it, and you align it together, and then you pin. You can put a couple. I'm just gonna put one for right now, just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about, so that the crotch can go like this continuously so you would stitch across on a zigzag what you're going to do is after you finish sewing down the sides you're going to open it up and then you're going to find the crotch seams you're going to pin that together and you're going to stitch across on a zigzag stitch i'll do that and come back with the next step okay youtube so you see how it's coming out so far i have the bottom part right here and if you get confused from what's the front to the back, when you're done figuring that out, you can just put a pin in the front just so you know. And so you see these are looking like shorts already. And I want them to have a baggy look so it could kind of look like a dress in a bit, but it's kind of like, sh it's shorts, but it'll look like a dress because it's going to be hanging and flowy and loose. So now what you want to do is you want to cut out your top portion. I already have the top from my romper that I want to cut out, but you can use a t-shirt, any style that you want that has a neckline that you would like, and you can use that as your top. This is where you have total creative freedom to do whatever you want. If you want it backless, if you want the top halter, if you want it like a tank top, whatever you want. So 
Um, when you do that, you'll just lay down whatever pattern you're using for your top portion. And then you'll use this bottom as a guide to know how wide you want the okay, top. Okay, YouTube, I went on ahead and cut out the top. And I um, already hemmed what I needed to hem already. So this is the top part. So when you're done cutting out the top, the only part that you need to start to stitch is the side part underneath the armhole. Your armholes are here. You're going to stitch on a zigzag down the side of one side and then you're gonna go to that other side underneath that armhole where the armhole starts and then you're gonna sew. You're not gonna sew the top part yet. You're gonna leave that open because you need however way you decide to do the top part of your jumper you need if you're not using a zipper you're gonna need to find a way to get into it and whether that's a halter top a strapless top backless whatever you need enough room up here to be able to get into your jumper. You're going to first stitch down the sides underneath the arm and if you really really want it clean you can overlock this but if you're not up to that it's fine you can just zigzag stitch the sides when you get to the top you're going to hem you see how I have those pins across the top like that that's hemmed over one time and then in the back you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna put the pins across if you could see that to, and it's hemmed over one time right now with the pins and you're gonna zigzag stitch all the way across the top and you're going to zigzag stitch here all the way across the other top still leaving it open now how you're going to do the casing for the string like how you see on here if you want your top to be like this is that after you hem it on the top right you're going to take it i'm trying to have it on here you're going to take that top let's say you finish zigzag stitching it you're going to fold it over one time, leaving just enough room for whatever, I'm sorry. You're going to fold it over one time, leaving just enough room. It's like a casing for that string to go through. So you're going to do that in the front top and you're going to do that in the back top. So if you want to get ahead of yourself as well with the shorts, go ahead and hem the bottom of those shorts all you have to do is fold it over one time a half an inch fold it over another and then do it on a zigzag on the bottom so once you do that the last step that you'll need to do is insert the elastic and you also have to cut out the strings for your top portion so that it can come out like this and you'll be done. Okay, YouTube, I am done with my casing. I went on ahead and um, did the casing on both sides. So, now depending on how wide your casing is, that's how you're going to know how wide of a strip of fabric to cut out. And you'll, you'll be able to determine the length. So you're going to take a strip of fabric and you're going to... Fold it in half, you can pin it down if you want, and just zigzag stitch all throughout the length. Okay YouTube, so I went ahead and cut my strip and then sewed it down and pulled it inside out. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do that. I didn't determine the length yet because I have to still put it through. Now remember in your, um, on the top half of your romper, you want to make two slits in the front and I've put two I don't know if you could even see that but I put two pins spaced apart about two to three inches see where my nail here is and here that's the distance between you're gonna make two slits if you have a razor even better I don't have one right now so I'm gonna have to snip it along and make sure you're doing it on just that first layer you're going to snip two slits because you want your, um, your string to come out of those slits. And I will put it through the back one first because since it's going to come out 
So here, we're going to go through that casing. You put a safety pin at the end of your string and put that right through the casing so that you can feel it going through. Just like that. And you'll feel the safety pin. You're just going to pull that through. Pull that through. I hope I'm doing it right. Yeah, it should be. It's going to come through on the other side, but then I'm trying to figure out. Well, if I need, well, this is one side. I'm doing it through the back part first. Okay, look. You see that? So it's going through there. You see how it's coming together? That's the back. So you're going to pull that all the way through until it's even. Right? And then you can just bring it through the front part now. We still have this pin. And feel it do the same thing through the front except now when you get to the slit that you made, then you can pull it out. See here's the slit that I made and it just came out. So you can pull that right out. And so now I guess to get it through the other side, you can take that safety pin off, put it on the other one, and do the same thing to the other front half. It's going to be like this. See? That's going to be how oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to put this on. OMG. Okay. See, you're looking at the top already. It is so cute. So you want to even out the strings in the front. Look at the top. See, here's your armholes. And so now you can adjust this any way that you want. Stitch the ends. Just push in. Tuck in the ends like that. And then do an over stitch. Do the same thing to the other side. You're going to tuck in those ends. Of that string and then do an over stitch so the last part is to get your elastic measure it around your waist and add an inch I've already done that so I am going to you can insert elastic two ways you can either do it the beginner way which is you're gonna make a casing on the bottom part just like I did a casing on that top and put the elastic through or you can just stitch the elastic to the very edge of this, making sure you kind of pull the elastic along so that this can scrunch up along with it. And you do that all the way around. And then you turn it over one time like that. Okay, YouTube. So I already added my elastic to the bottom. And now for the top, what I did was I hemmed the top over one time so that it can have a clean finish and so um, actually I folded it over once and then twice so that there there wouldn't be any raw edges I want this to be a clean and professional um, project so now what you're gonna do is try to stretch out the bottom part like that to match the top because the top is not scrunched in yet because it didn't have the elastic you're now adding it to the bottom that has the elastic so you're going to stretch that bottom out and kind of match up the sides the front center seam and the back center seam so that everything could be even so the top can you know the sides can be where the sides need to be the front center and back center can be where they need to be so how you're going to do that is you're just going to stretch out that bottom and then you can place pins where the sides are and where the front center and back center are. So now you're going to take this top part and this bottom and then you put it together and you're going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around. And um, while you're doing that, you're going to be pulling on your elastic so that it can, um, the top part can be even to the bottom part. You're going to be stretching the elastic and it'll be grabbing onto the, the top part and it'll scrunch that up just as it's bringing that. And we are done, YouTube. We have done our first romper. Yay! 
Okay, YouTube, I am done with my romper and I absolutely love it. Look at that. It is so, so pretty. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you that I forgot to mention in the video and I'll explain it really quickly. It's really, really simple. Remember, we did the casing in the back here. What I noticed on my other romper was the manufacturer, they stitched the back casing both of the ends on the back so that this string doesn't move everywhere so you want to put a stitch to um, stitch down the back casing at the corners and attach it to that string that's attached to it on both corners so that the back can stay in place so I would suggest that you try it on see what height that you would like the back to be and then stitch it you can put a pin or ask someone to help you or whatever you stitch it where you need it to be and then for the front casing you just leave that alone leave it free so that you can adjust it in the front because if you don't do that what's gonna happen is that when you're wearing it the string is going to move all over the place it's going to be just adjusting itself and then you're going to have to keep fixing the straps do it this way it'll definitely help where you stitch the back and then leave the front free so that you can just adjust the front but i am so so happy with this this is so pretty it came out so flowy and pretty so it can look like a dress when it's on you but it's a romper and it's really classy trendy and um just really cute and flowy for the summertime so if you you can dress this up and you can dress it down a bit but um this looks really really dressy and casual at the same time which i love love, love.